Oh yes, welcome back. Time to chat to three singers who are well and truly proving they are pop music force we reckoned with. Yeah, since forming a band in 2019, our next guests have gone on to sell out headline shows and hit the road with Julia Michaels, Picture This and Little Mix. Alec McGarry, Nathan Lambert and Raimi, aka New Rules. <laughs> And we just heard your song Really Wanna Dance to there in the background. What a tune. Ye formed in 2019, as we said, as New Rules. But I have to ask, given the name, how often do you get mistaken for a Dua Lipa, like, Stan yeah. account? Surely. Often. <laughs> well, it's in, the, it's in the Instagram bio. Not a Dua Lipa <laughs> yeah. Stan account, you know, just so that's the first thing people know. But um, it is funny. There's sometimes a bit of crossover. But, the, you know, the goal is for... You know, one day people will search new rules, will come up first. There you go, that's SEO, mm. that's what it's all about. Mindset. Uh, absolutely. Um, as we had said at the start as well, the band kind of formed as a result of a flirty DM exchange, Ryan. Is that correct? Yeah, that was starting with Nathan. Nathan is That was the... my flirty DM. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So you slid in, it was yeah. you. He's a flirty guy. But um, <laughs> no, we, we say, like, you know, I wouldn't usually accept random requests from older men. <laughs> but, you know, I saw the followers, he had a lot of followers and I was just, you know, I was just studying in UCD. So I said, OK, here we go, here's the, mm. yeah. here's the DM. So well, I yeah, jumped Nathan, on Nathan, how did you find the lads online? So did you go searching for the band yourself? Was it your idea? So I, yeah, so I was just looking for, for guys my own age to start writing songs with. Mm -hmm. And um, I saw Ron on YouTube, Alec on Instagram, and I DM'd him and said, do you want to meet up and do some songwriting? And they did. Yes, the so, you, do you, so you write your own stuff as well? We do, yeah. Yeah, brilliant. I love that. And I'm just so excited to see a, a, a young new boy band that's like, there's much need for it. And your music is really, really good. I was listening to it on the way up. I was having a good old bop on the way up. Yeah. And, and Nathan as well, you know, you have a lot of fans now. So, you know, with that comes fame as well. How are you finding it with all the fans out there now? Um, you know what? It's, we're so lucky. Our fans are, mm. um, they're like the best in the world and they treat us so well. And, you know, finally getting to do shows again and kind of go and see him again. It's, it's like the, it's the best thing ever. They it's also it. humble us sometimes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and I believe you have some fans here uh, in, the, in the studio audience as well, Ryan. Your mum and your sister are here. Give it a yeah. yeah. There they are. Yeah. 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 Biggest fans. Oh, Although they gave Alec and Nathan a bigger squeeze than me, I think, <laughs> after coming in. So They have to keep you on your toes, you know? Uh, yeah. As I said, keep you humble. It's the fans, it's the family. Everyone has to keep you grounded. They do, yeah. they do. Yeah, but they, they must be delighted to have you back as well because you're based. You're, you're all living together in the UK. You're, you're based. We, do. In the we UK. live in a little house in, in London together. Yeah, we call it the party pad. It's fun. Oh, the party <laughs> pad. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we need an invite over for one of the gaffs. Put us and, down. And, and Alec, can I ask you about supporting? Yeah, Little Mix, Julia Michaels, and Picture This, like big bands like that. Did you find like that they really encouraged you and kind of give you advice and all that to yeah, start definitely. out with them? Yeah, such a pleasure just being able to go on the road with them. And obviously, we learn a lot just from just from touring with with artists like them. And we have a lot of fun as well. They're, they're great. Mm. Did they give you any like any specific advice or what kind of advice have you gotten so far being on the road? And like you're still so new. Have you gotten mm. any nuggets of information that you're taking with you as this journey continues for you? Literally nuggets of information. We went to a kebab shop at 5 a.m. With, <laughs> with, with Leanne um, from Little Mix and yeah. she told us what not to get at this particular place, um, which is apparently the best in Birmingham. Um, okay. So if anyone's ever in Birmingham. Hit Liana. Hit us up or Liana. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We, we know. Yeah, that's, that's, us. Us. that's the only new skill industry knowledge you can share. But that's it. I like, I like people who are like, they know where to go to get the food. And yeah, they're like, they, get oh, this. Definitely, yeah. Don't get this. Exactly. Um, but never mind about supporting people on shows. You have a sold out show tomorrow, Dublin's Grand Soul Show. Uh -huh. uh, let's take a look to see uh, what people can expect. Very exciting. Every night I miss you and I wish that you were there. All of my joy Tune after tune yeah. after tune. Uh, that was your song, Drunk Texts. Mm -hmm. uh, we've all, I think, been on either the receiving end or sending them maybe uh, drunk texts <laughs> occasionally. Was that common ground that the three of you all shared? Yeah, I think it's pretty relatable. For <laughs> You're like, I can't yeah. say this on live TV. Yeah, no, I know. I think like we sometimes, you know, we were trying to look back on drunk texts that we'd like maybe sent to other people or sent like between us. And I think probably funnier ones between the three of us. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? And just making no sense. Yeah. You know, so. Or you're just texting back yourself, like you think you're texting back one of the lads, and it's like, uh, I'm outside, where are you? Can't yeah. find you. Do you have my jacket? I yeah. always do that with yeah. my friends. I'm really interested in like your songwriting process and all that as well. Like, how do you do you write? Like, how do you have like 
maybe someone who loves writing the lyrics or the melodies or how do you how do you work it so we we all write together but i mean yeah. drunk text as an example we mm. um, we wrote that one just in our house in london back in i think it was like christmas time 2020 but it was just the three of us we got the guitars out and uh sit in a circle and see what happens yeah i find that yeah. as well yeah they would yeah go on Sorry. it's kind of different every time like yeah. i think you know ideas kind of come from anywhere mm. um nathan's pretty good with it with the old lyrics yeah um, yes. And I think like it's great to just like yeah I think there's a bit of like magic you can get from just sitting and you know mm. seeing what happens absolutely and you're on the road quite a lot so you're away from home so everybody misses I know when I was on tour like I always miss my home comforts and Ryan I believe that you always take the Barry's tea which yeah and the Kerry gold yeah. and all that <laughs> of course yeah no I, yeah. and the lads are converted now as well oh, are they do, yeah. do, do they actually understand how important it is to have the Irish tea and it's so much better isn't it it's so much better <laughs> do, you, do you agree it is yeah. actually better yeah. it is better isn't yeah. it Been I'm there. so glad we've converted them because I wasn't interested in a fight like on yeah. you Sorry, absolutely. We're gonna get the lads a spice bag tonight and everything. Oh, yes. so. You never get a spice bag. I mean, no, no, no. Do you know what it is? We're, we've seen I've seen you have one. Yeah. <laughs> I've witnessed one, one in the wild. Seen me have one. Yeah, <laughs> oh no, they're the best. They're so good. They're so um, good. What you can actually do, because I lived in the UK for so long and then I missed my spice bags as well. So what you can actually do is order just portion of chips and then you get sweet. Um, sweet, is it sweet chili chicken or, all the or, or salt and pepper chicken? Yeah, salt and pepper okay. chicken from the Chinese, and you just mix it around, and you can make your own spice bags. That's a tip, Amazing you know, for tips. when you go back. Who needs, who needs Leanne when we have when we have you? Uh, so. Yeah, <laughs> Una Healy's food tips. There you go. There's another business in that. Um, we've talked about Irish home comforts. Ryan, what about the cupola focal? Have you taught the lads any little bit of the changa yet? Um, we try to. <laughs> yeah. Um, more so slang, I would say. Okay, yeah. but, um, slang. Well, I'm not sure I can say the one I learned the other day. Oh, it was... Mm, maybe mm. not. OK. Well, it was, it was <laughs> limerick slang. <laughs> oh, OK. Interesting. But you know that fuckle is actually a word. And it means word. Wow. So we're, I'm not swearing hey, there. That's they looked a little bit confused there. I promise this is live TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did you see the lights are trolled. They're like, where have we been brought? I said what I heard the other day. So you're allowed to say that cupola fuckle yeah. is, is, yeah. is a couple of words. Well, we've, got, we've got a song called Cheers as well. Oh, so yeah. So that was one, you know, we went hard on Slauncha. Yes, of course. We wanted to release an Irish version. We didn't do it. Maybe we'll do it. Maybe there's still time. There's still time. I was just about to say, there's still time. Absolutely. Yeah, and do, you, and do you find, like, when you're writing songs as well, that, like, now with TikTok, and obviously you're very popular on there as well, that a lot of the time, like, one of your songs will kick off there, and that will kind of draw a lot of attention. And when you're writing songs, go, we have to get this catchy because TikTok might pick up on it. Do you ever have that in mind when you're writing now, do you find, Nathan? There is a bit of that, yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, TikTok, we started doing um, name songs like for our fans on TikTok. Mm. And so we would literally just write fan, um, songs about fans who asked for a name song. So. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It, TikTok finds its way into everything now. It does, it really does. <laughs> and you've got a sold-out gig well done in the Grand Social this Saturday, but for um, fans who didn't manage to nab tickets, I believe you're going to be busking on Grafton Street this weekend, which is, that's iconic, so... It's yeah, I feel like it's a bit of a rite of passage, isn't it, yeah. you know? And also, you know, someone has to compete with... Capaldi and Nile taking yes. our spotlight the other day. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, we have to try and one-up them. Absolutely. Bring Harry Styles down or something, mm. you know? What else is on the Dublin bucket list while you're here? Can you let us in on it? I think, well, obviously, spice, spice bag. bag. Yeah. Spice chicken bag. fillet roll. Yeah. Gonna have a Guinness and as well. Pint of Guinness after yeah. the show. Yeah. Of course. Have um, you not had a chicken fillet roll either? No. Oh, oh you're my missing God. Out. Yes. Yeah, you're no. really getting a <laughs> try by things. fire of Ireland, aren't you? And the crisps. So have you told them both how nice our crisps are here yeah, as well? Yeah, we've actually somehow we we've managed. Oh, we've got a shop <laughs> next door to our house in yeah. London, which yeah. has a big sign on the front saying Irish products available in here. Oh, yes. So they get the tato shipped in. It's amazing. There you go. Specifically for you. Just for me. We've only found the house, you see. That's convenient, isn't it? Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah. And and um, we won't say Guinness, uh, but red lemonade. Have you ever tried that? No, <laughs> it's no, just like, no, no, no. We'll have a shop with list for you. Anyway. <laughs> no, no, they're all going to be like uh, just eating and drinking the whole time yeah. while they're we'll here. We'll have to fill oh. up the suitcase before we head home. Absolutely. Yeah. There you go, oh. guys. An absolute pleasure to talk to you. Um, and your extended yeah. EP, Go the Distance, is out now. So you can go stream that. Go buy it. Um, and best of luck to gig. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. 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 Oh my God. Thank you so much. The lads are sticking around. But up next, yes, of course. Up next, our resident tele guru, Zainab.